Here's how to become a Databricks Solutions Architect Champion step by step. First as a complete beginner, then if you already have the relevant expertise. As a complete beginner, the first thing that you need to do is build foundational knowledge. To gain a solid understanding of big data concepts, cloud platforms like Azure, programming languages such as Python and Spark, and other related technologies like Delta Lake and the Lakehouse platform. Then you need to deepen your Databricks expertise. You need to start completing Databricks Academy courses, you need to attend workshops, and work on real world projects to gain that hands-on experience. And these two steps require a lot of time if you're starting as a complete beginner. But this career path is extremely lucrative, right? And I think the time invested will definitely be worth it. Now, let's say that you already have the real world expertise with Databricks and that you built at least one production system using Spark, Delta Lake and other related technologies. The first thing is that this is an invite only program. So you need to check if your company is a Databricks partner. You can easily do this by visiting this link. If your company is a Databricks partner, then you need to get yourself nominated. And you can reach out to your leadership that maintains the relationship with Databricks and check the requirements to propose you for the program. Normally, if you're seen as a technical expert, you're likely to be proposed. And to be honest, being nominated for the Databricks Champion program is an achievement in itself. So if you have already been proposed, then congratulations. I think you're on your path to success. Now you need to focus your learning on some specific areas, such as, for example, the Lakehouse platform, building data pipelines, Databricks SQL, and machine learning on Databricks. As part of your onboarding, a partner solution architect will work with you to assess your awareness level on these, right? And then you're going to develop a learning plan to cover any gaps. You'll be able to use the self-paced courses from the Databricks Academy course catalog in order to prepare and make sure that you fill those knowledge gaps. As a candidate, you'll need to complete three badges. And for this, you can choose between two tracks. You can follow the data engineering track or the data science track. For me, as I had extended experience in machine learning on Databricks, I felt like the data engineering track would be a lot more interesting to me and I would actually learn more. Many choose the easier path based on their current role. If you're a data scientist, you can choose the machine learning path. And if you're a data engineer, you might choose the data engineering one. But I wanted to diversify and challenge myself a bit. The associate and the professional certificates in each track are proctored exams and each will cost $50 plus VAT per attempt. Normally they're 200, but you get a $150 discount by using a discount code that you can request from your Databricks partner team. After you pass these exams and you get your first two badges, the candidates in each track need to get the Solution Architect badge by attending an instructor-led training class and by completing the required assignments. That class lasts for three and a half days currently, is jam-packed with a lot of great information, and it's a requirement for you so you can move on to the final stage. And the final stage is a panel review. And this panel review is a critical step in the Databricks Solutions Architect Champion program. It's an interview process conducted by a panel of Databricks experts that will assess your technical expertise, your experience, and your contributions to the Databricks community. The panel will ask technical and scenario-based questions related to Databricks, about Apache Spark, and of course, other related technologies. Technologies. It's crucial to have a deep understanding of Databricks' Lakehouse platform, its pillars, and the associated technologies. You're going to need to demonstrate real-world expertise with at least one Databricks implementation, and the panel will likely ask you about your projects, the challenges that you faced, and the solutions that you implemented. So you have to be ready to discuss the projects that you verified for the Champions program. And when I say verified, I'm talking about the projects that you actually implemented using these tools. Another important aspect that you need to cover are the contributions to the community because as a champion you're going to be expected to be a community leader and a thought leader. And the panel will want to know about your contributions to the Databricks community and this includes participation in events, presenting at company events, mentoring people and any activity in which you promoted Databricks to solve business problems. And here's how and what you need to prepare for the panel review in order to become a Databricks Solutions Architect champion. You have to review the materials from the Databricks Academy courses, from any workshops, any resources that your Databricks partner suggests and any other resources that actually helped you deepen your expertise in Databricks. You have to be ready to discuss the Databricks projects that you worked on and you're going to have to prepare a brief summary of each project highlighting the problem, the solution and the results. And this needs to be put in a presentation that you're going to be going through in that meeting. And I recommend that before the actual panel review, you should have a test interview with your colleagues in order to practice answering technical and scenario based questions. I think the panel review is a great chance to showcase your expertise, your experience and your contributions. So try and see this as an opportunity rather than another task, because I think this is a great chance to demonstrate your passion for Databricks, your commitment to continuous learning and your dedication to help others succeed with Databricks. It took me 
me about a week to prepare for this and I wanted to show my best self. And even then I felt like I had more areas to improve on. This is definitely continuous learning because even as a Databricks Solutions Architect Champion, you're on this path for as long as you're in the industry. And this is your job, right? This is continuous learning. Now that you pass this final step, congratulations. You're part of a small group of like-minded professionals. You're gonna get this final badge and you're gonna finally be able to access those perks that you've been looking forward to get. Now you have access to a great community of other Databricks champions, you get quarterly roadmap updates and an invitation to the yearly Databricks internal tech summit. You also receive data and AI summit discounts and pre-summit training vouchers. You're gonna have a dedicated mentor from Databricks and access to discussions with Databricks solutions architects that will help you become a better professional. And you're gonna get also a free Databricks champion jacket to go with that new badge that you probably already shared on LinkedIn. Last time I checked it was out of stock, but I hope to get mine soon. So this is the complete path. These are the necessary steps that you need to go through in order to become a Databricks champion. If you're currently on this path, you can check out these videos in which I talk about how to pass the associate and professional data engineering exam. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more advice regarding such certifications. I'll see you in the next one.